Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to find out inverse matrix using Kolesky method. Already I have done this method in my previous video, but this the continuation is that using Kolesky method, how to find out the inverse of a matrix. So let us go to the problem now. Solve the equations 1, minus 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 4, 6, 2, 6, 29 x1 x2 x3 is equal to 2 3 minus 1 using Kolesky method also determine a inverse let us go for the solution we write a is equal to l l transpose a is nothing but the given matrix 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 4 6 2 6 29 and l you know it's a lower triangular matrix so l 1 1 0 0 l 2 1 l 2 2 0 l 3 1 l 3 2 l 3 3 and it is transpose transpose is all the whatever is in the row we have to put it in the column second row will become second column third row will become third column so this is what l into l transpose so by multiplying l into l transpose i am arriving this matrix l11 square l11 l21 l1131 etc this is an ordinary matrix multiplication first row with first column first row with the second column first row with the third column like that now since these two matrices are equal we can compare in the we can compare the corresponding elements on both sides so what we get by comparing is so this is a given matrix the matrix a is going to be 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 4 6 2 6 29 by multiplying these two i arrive this matrix so now let us compare the element the first one is l11 squared is equal to 1 so that's what i have written here and L11, L21 is minus 1. L11, L31 is equal to 2. Similarly, L21, L11 is minus 1. L21 squared plus L22 squared is equal to 4. L21, L31 plus L22, L32 is equal to 6. And L31, L11 is 2. L31, L21 plus L32, L22 is equal to 6. L squared 31 and L squared 31. 2 plus L33 square that is equal to 29 that is what comparing the corresponding elements so if I compare the first row already I have told you how we are getting this value so we are getting L11 squared is equal to 1 so from this we are at L11 is 1 and the second element is L11 L21 is minus 1 I can substitute for L11 as 1 so I'll be getting L21 is minus 1 Similarly, L11, L31 is equal to 2. So, from this we arrive L31 is equal to 2. So, if I go for the second row, L21 squared plus L22 squared is equal to 4. Already we know the value of L21 that is minus 1. So, when you square becomes plus 1. And L22 plus L22 squared is equal to 4. Because from this we arrive L22 squared is equal to 3. And L22 is going to be square root of 3. And the second equation is L21, L31 plus L22, L32 is equal to 6. I can substitute for L21 and I can also substitute for L31. And then from that L22 also, so we already know it is root 3. So we have to substitute and find out what is for L32. So from L32, I, after substitution, I can get L32 is equal to 8 by root 3. Now the third row is l31 squared plus l32 squared plus l33 squared is equal to 29 so if i go for the simplification l31 already we know that it is going to be 2 so l31 squared is 4 and l32 we know that it is going to be 8 by root 3 by squaring this i will be getting 64 by 3 plus l33 squared is equal to 29 so if i go for substitution and simplification l33 squared is equal to 29 minus 4 minus 64 by 3 by solving this you'll be getting 11 by 3 l33 squared is 11 by 3 so l33 is square root of 11 by 3 so substituting these values in the matrix in l we get the lower triangular matrix and let us see what is that lower triangular matrix so substituting all l11 and L12, L2, L13, etc., we'll be getting lower triangular matrix L is equal to 1, 0, 0, minus 1, root 3, 0, 2, 8 by root 3, square root of 11 by 3. And as usual, L transpose is just taking all the rows into columns. 
so we get a is equal to a l, l transpose for Kolesky method we are going for the uh, substitution as l l transpose for a i am replacing as l l transpose x is equal to b or this l transpose x if i take it as z then it become l z is equal to b once if i know the values of z then i can substitute here in this equation and you can find the value of x so that is the procedure which you are going to follow now so from the equation l z is equal to b b obtained l i am substituting the lower triangular matrix values and z i have taken as a column matrix z1 z2 z3 and b of course from the problem it is 2 3 minus 1 so using the forward substitution forward substitution is first we will be knowing the value of z1 then we will be knowing the value of z2 knowing z1 and z2 if you come and substitute for z3 you will be getting the values of z3 so it's here from this equation you will get z1 is equal to 2 the second equation is minus 1 into z1 plus root 3 z2 so that is minus z1 plus root 3 z2 is equal to 3 so already we know z1 is 2 so i am substituting here so i will be getting the value of z2 as 5 by root 3 similarly the final equation is 2 z1 plus 8 root 3 z2 plus root of 11 by 3 z3 that is equal to minus 1 so here also i know the value of z1 and you also know the value of z2 from that i am getting the value of z3 which is equal to minus 55 by square root of 33 it's already simplification only now from l the other equation l transpose x is equal to z we obtain l transpose is 1 minus 1 2 0 root 3 8 by root 3 0 0 square root of 11 by 3 and x is x1 x2 x3 is that just now we got z1 is 2 z2 we got and z3 so i am just substituting the values of z1 z2 z3 now we are going to use the forward <coughs> substitution we used in the first one now here we are going to use the backward substitutions so by using the backward substitution i am getting that that is backward substitution is going from the last value and then we arrive the first value so root of 11 by 3 x3 is equal to minus 50 by by square root of 33 so from this so by solving i will be getting x3 is equal to minus 5 similarly the previous equation is root 3 x2 plus 8 root 3 by x3 is equal to 5 by root 3 i am substituting the value of x3 here and if i solve for x2 i am getting x2 is equal to 15. now the first equation is going to be x1 minus x2 plus 2 x3 is equal to 2. since i know the value of x3 and i also know the value of x2 I can substitute those values x2 and x3 and find the value of x1 where x1 is equal to 27. So we find the value of x1 is 27, x2 is equal to 15 and x3 is equal to minus 5 by using the Kolesky method. Now for the continuation in the question is to find A inverse. To find A inverse we know that A is, is equal to L into L transpose. So if you take the inverse on both sides what happens you will get a inverse is equal to l inverse transpose into l inverse so it is necessary to find out what is l inverse to find a inverse so l inverse how to find out l inverse is adjacent <coughs> adjacent l by matrix l that is adjacent matrix l divided by determinant l where l is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 root 3 0 2 8 root by 3 square root of 11 by 3 so first let us find out what is the value of this matrix that is determinant L. So determinant L I hope you know the determinant expansions. So 1 into this all the rest of the are going to be 0. So you will get only this value by simplifying we get determinant L is equal to square root of 11. Now the adjacent matrix L is equal to transpose of the cofactor matrix L. So it is necessary to find out what is the cofactor matrix for L. So for cofactor matrix L, we need to put the find out the minus using the determinants. So here your L is going to be this square root of 11, 0, 0, minus 1, root 3, 0, 2, 8 by root 3, square root of 11 by 3. Now I am going to find out cofactors of L. So that is for that the sign is very essential. So follow first plus, then minus, then plus then minus 
plus minus and then followed by plus minus plus so we need the signs for this and then we have to find out the determinants so the determinant is like uh, first one is first row with the we just omit first uh, row and first column if i take out what is the determinant you are getting you are getting the determinant root 3 0 8 by root 3 square root of 11 by 3 similarly if i go for the for the first column and the first row we we'll use so now it is going to be first row and the second column so in that case it is minus 1 0 2 by square root of 11 by 3 and similarly first row and the third column so that's going to be minus 1 root 3 2 8 by root 3 I'll repeat so here for the second row let us find out that is where a 2 1 2 2 2 3 isn't it so for this now just close the second row and close the first row what is the determinant available that is going to be 0 0 8 root by 3 by square root of 11 by 3 so that's what I hear here and already I fixed the sign the sign is very very essential otherwise the values will be going wrong and then similarly second row now I have to leave the second column. So which is the determinant available now that is going to be 1, 0, 2 square root of 11 by 3. So similarly for the third one, 1, 0, 2 by 8 by root 3. So by doing so, we will be getting for similarly the third also, third row also we are doing this. So you will be getting the determinant 0, 0 square root of 3, 0. 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 minus 1 root 3 then find the cofactor we just started simplifying so root 3 into 11 by root 3 just multiply and go do that so root 3 root 3 will be getting cancelled you get root 11 and similarly just cross multiply so our ordinary cross multiplication and then by simplifying i will be getting cofactor l is equal to square root of 11 square root of 11 by 3 minus 14 by square root of 3 0 square root of 11 by 3 minus 8 by square root of 3 third row is 0 0 root 3 this is what cofactors of L now uh, for adjacent L we need to find out the transpose of the cofactors so we will put again all the rows will interchange into columns so that will become root 11 0 0 so by taking the transpose, we get your adjacent L is going to be root 11, 0, 0, root 11 by 3, root 11 by 3, 0, minus 14 by root 3, minus 8 by root 3, and the last value is going to be root 3. Now L inverse is equal to adjacent L by determinant L. So let us substitute the matrix adjacent L already we found divided by determinant L. On simplification, you arrive that L inverse is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 0, minus 14 by square root of 33, minus 8 by square root of 33, and the last one is going to be square root of root 3 by root 11. So, this is what L inverse. Now, the question is, we should obtain A inverse. So, for A inverse, is equal to already we knew that a inverse is l inverse transpose l inverse so a inverse is equal to l inverse just now we found and then l inverse transpose and l inverse so this is an ordinary multiplication so matrix to matrix how we multiply true matrix multiplication the same way first row with the First column add everything so you'll be getting 1 plus 1 by 3 plus minus 14 minus 14 will becomes plus 196 by 33 similarly first row with the second column just add first row with the third column add and see you'll be getting 80 by 11 and 123 by 33 minus 14 by 11 similarly the second row with the first column that is 0 plus 1 by 3 plus 112 by 33 and similarly second row with the second column second row with the third column add the values and you will be getting 123 by 33 70 by 33 minus 8 by 11 
Now the third row similarly first row third row with the first column third row with the second column and the third row with the third column adding each value you get minus 14 by 11 and minus 8 by 11 3 by 11. So finally A inverse is equal to the matrix with these values 80 by 11 123 by 33 minus 14 by 11 123 by 33 75 by 33 minus 8 by 11 minus 14 by 11 minus 8 by 11 p by 11 so this is the matrix for a inverse and hence the solution so this is the way we need to find out inverse matrix using Kolesky method so the first step is you should apply the Kolesky method and get the value of l once you find l find l inverse after finding out L inverse, you have to substitute A inverse is equal to L inverse transpose into L inverse. So once you know L inverse, the problem becomes simpler. Only thing, you have to be a little more perfect with the plus and minus sign and your calculation. Hope this video will make you to learn and understand better. Good luck. Thank you. Bye.